Module 2, Segment 3, Inventory Search Options. In this training segment, we will review various additional functionalities in the inventory control record. These will include changing a master inventory number, merging inventory records, assigning clauses to inventory, and finding stock reservations. Please note that this training segment assumes you have already reviewed Module 1 and Module 2, Segment 1 and 2. We will begin by opening the last inventory record we accessed. Select the Inventory icon arrow and select Open. The Inventory Master window opens. Select the Global Action button. Each function discussed in this training segment will be accessed through the global menu. Changing a master part number. From the global options window, select Change Part Number. The Enter New Part Number window opens. Type in the part number you wish to use and select OK. You will see that the inventory master record now reflects the new part number. Merging Parts The Merge Parts feature allows you to combine two parts in a situation where two separate part records have been created for what is actually one part. All history, notes, and stock will be saved to one record so that the other may be removed. You will begin in the Inventory Master Record you wish to save. Select Global, Part Merge. Find and select the part to be merged into the open record. You may choose whether to set the part to inactive or delete it completely. Select OK. You will be returned to the Inventory window, where you will see that all notes, stock, and history have been brought over. Attaching Clauses Clauses are messages that can be attached to inventory master records. These messages will print on any document you choose when the part is added to any of the selected modules. Select Global, Clauses. The Selected Clauses window opens. This window will display all clauses assigned to this inventory record. To assign a clause, select Add. The Browse Clauses window opens, listing all clauses that have been created system-wide. To create a clause, select Add. The Adding Clause window opens. In the Description field, type in a name for the clause. This name is what will be visible to you when you are looking at the list of clauses. In the area labeled Clause, type the text that you would like to have appear on the documents being generated. Select OK. You will now see the clause you created in the Browse Clauses window. Double-click on the clause to attach it to the part. The Editing Order clause appears. In the default use area, enable the document you wish to print the clause on. Select OK. The clause is now assigned to the part and will print on the documents selected. Close the selected clause window. Viewing stock reservations. Viewing stock reservations allows you to see where stock is currently allocated. Select Global, Stock Reservations. The Outstanding Stock Reservations window opens. To open the record where the stock is reserved, highlight the order number and select Inspect. Consignment Tools If you are working with consigned inventory, consignment tools can help you in managing the process. Select Global Consignment Tools. The Consignment Tools menu opens with two options. Consignment Transfer The Consignment Transfer feature 
allows you to transfer consignment stock between locations and warehouses. The transfer consignment window opens in which you must select the consignment code, location, and warehouse. Select OK to complete the transfer. A confirmation window opens with any errors listed in the Errors panel. Select OK. Relieve Consignments The Relieve Consignments command allows you to remove consigned inventory from your stock. Select this menu option and the Relieve Consignment window opens. Here you will select the consignment code attached to the stock lines you wish to remove. You may also limit the stock lines you remove by using any one of the other fields presented on this window. Select OK. The Errors panel will display existing stock reservations of consigned stock that will prevent its removal from inventory. Select OK. To recap what we learned in this lesson, we have accessed functions in the global menu to change an inventory master part number, merged duplicate part records, assigned part clauses, viewed stock reservations, and managed consigned inventory. You may now proceed to Module 3, Segment 1, Adding Companies.